You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. On the virus. Serious XM. We'll do the Australian uh, radio yeah, prank. Yeah, we'll, we'll do go that back first. This, this clown. I remember when this story hit, and mm-hmm. I think I didn't think much of it, and I didn't uh, search out the audio, unfortunately. Uh, Jim Jeffries at Caroline's this weekend is like, have you heard this Australian radio thing? And I said, no, and he explained it to me. I'm like, holy shit. And he goes, you have to play this on Monday. This is the biggest fail in radio history you're about to hear. Because they were trying to do a a fun, silly bit, and it completely backfired on these Mm -hmm. guys horribly. I guess the bit was they had uh, concert tickets for some some big star. So they had um, daughters and their mothers come into the studio. And they hooked the daughter up to a lie detector. Which is a fucking great idea, right? Sure. And then basically, the daughter had to answer eight out of ten questions, something like that, truthfully. And the first person to do that would win the tickets. Sounds like a pretty good bit, it's right? Pretty good. Because you know they're going to ask the daughter some crazy shit, or the mother's going to ask the daughter crazy shit. Highly embarrassing. And and now the daughter has to decide how important it is to get these tickets, right? Mm-hmm. Listen how this plays out. The yeah. air in here is thick, Jackie. I know. We're all a bit nervous actually, because mum has brought her daughter in to go on the lie detector. If you, We just had a chat to uh, actually about her concerns with her 14-year-old daughter. They added the shit out of this because... Aussie hole! Yeah, because I guess the Prime Minister got involved and it, oh. this is a biggie, so uh, they're, they're getting rid of all the names so oh, no one gets it? sued. Mm. ...with her 14-year-old daughter and why she wanted to bring her in. 14-year-old daughter, very key to this. Uh, I mean, yeah. Let me uh, back up a little bit. So it's a mom with her 14-year-old daughter. ...about her concerns with her 14-year-old daughter and why she wanted to bring her in. If you missed it, here's a little quick recap before we do the lie detector. Um, last Thursday night, she went to bed at 9 o'clock. Yeah. I gave her a kiss goodnight. And 2.30 in the morning, I got a knock on the door from two undercover police bringing her home. From... What's your worst fear? Is it the sex? Is it the lying? Is it is it possibly doing drugs, smoking? What do you think? Um, drugs and sex. That's and older boys. Up. Yeah. Do you think she's, has she told you she's had sex before? Do you think she's a virgin? I think she might have had sex before. Right, but she hasn't said anything. No. Have you asked about the drugs and things like that? Yes, I know for a fact that she's been smoking marijuana. Okay. Right, so she's admitted that, has so she? you yes. want to know if yes. she's doing anything harder than marijuana yes. then? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, we have her hooked up to the light detector. Oh. She's not happy. I just saw her listening to that replay. So far, you got to give these guys credit. A plus on the yeah. bit idea and the setup. Okay, you got a 14-year-old girl with the mom. This is this is something we would have... I mean, I'm I'm jealous. I'm like, fuck, I wish we thought of this, mm-hmm, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, remember, the mom said, I think she had sex before. That's key here. Six. Huh? <laughs> She oh, thinks six. she had sex right. and smoked marijuana. Right. <laughs> right. right. So she seems like a wild... <laughs> really chopper. <laughs> people, people from faraway lands always sound stupid. <laughs> she, she sounds like one of those crazy, sex-crazed, Maury Povich type yeah, 14-year-olds, yeah. right? I'm going to do it. I won't. So here we go. The lie detector test starts. Listen closely because mm-hmm. the accent is a little fucked up. Um, Mum, you have a series of questions that you're going to ask your daughter and uh, you reply either yes or no and then it will be picked up on the lie detector whether you are telling the truth or lying. Okay, Mum, what do you want to start with? Okay, about school. Just recently started a new school and I want to know, have you wagged at your new school? I have not wagged at my new school. So the answer would be no? No. it's fuck. Oh, okay. I would assume. I thought it meant, uh, are you attending class? <laughs> Just what's Australian wag? It's like shag, wag. You, you, fuck. Are you making that up? I'm just assuming. The, the mother's as have you fucked in school? Yeah, because yeah. she's a wild kid. I don't know. Make sure wag is the right thing. Man. All right, let's look at wag. You got to. And what happens with the word no? I understand accents around the world. No. But how does it become yeah? Uh, I can't even say so it. A few nigh. syllables. Now. Nigh. Now. Nigh. How do you fuck up that oh, word? That, that's badly. cutting school. <laughs> oh, it is cutting school. There you go. Because that just didn't make sense for uh, have you been fucking at school? All right. Okay, let's nigh. do this. Nigh. <laughs> well, she's starting with easy questions, which, uh, you know, is the way you, you go with this bit. I want to wag not the wagged show at my tomorrow. new school. <laughs> so the answer would be no. 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 I and that's a fail. I haven't wagged. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm just calling I haven't bloody wagged. <laughs> Poor Charles is going to cover this morning. <laughs> You're not within arm's reach there, are you, Charles? No. <laughs> yeah, you know he is. He is. So she answered the first question uh, yeah. falsely. Yes. 
So she's not going to get the tickets unless she starts telling the truth. Telling the truth. <laughs> Fucking lie detector test. Or just horrid. <laughs> Horrid. It's mumbo jumbo and voodoo. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm, no. sweat I'm sweating. Yeah, just being here, there. It's like, uh, Patrice, did you take a 10 pound shit the other day? Um, huh? no? Yes, yes, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You're lying, you yeah. fucking yeah. bastard. No, I guess you're not lying. I just don't remember. Yeah. I'm not lying. So where uh, where were we? That's uh, about ten minutes ago. She didn't wag at school, which okay. is cutting class or cutting school. Right. All right. And then uh, and the lie detector test yeah. continues. And of course, she's got to <laughs> she's got to uh, answer these questions truthfully, and she gets the tickets for the big show. Right. Right. And this is where it fails miserably. <laughs> now, so the lie detector is saying you have. I have what is, is there something? How can, what, what's happening here, Charles? Or well, maybe she skipped a class or something like that. Have you done that? Have you skipped? No. Class? No, I haven't. No. Have you left there early? No, I haven't. No. Could I haven't it come up? Could it come up a fail? Like, have you have you had a sick day or something where you bunged on a bit yeah. of a sickie and you thought, oh, oh yeah, there's sick. plenty of them. All oh, right, well, is that, could that be it? Well, that's yeah. it. Apparently, yeah. yeah. Okay, what's your next question, Mum? Okay, have you had sex? I've already told you the story of this. And don't look at me and smile because it's not funny. Oh, okay. Um, I got raped when I was 12 years old. Did you hear that? Because the accent's a little fucked up. Yeah, because she had an fired extra so syllable. Fired so fucking fired. Who oh, fucking cares? Fired. I got raped when I was 12 years old. Yeah, the accent's she got raped a little fucked when up. when she was 12. Exactly is what she said. I uh -oh. was. She, the mom asked if she, if she ever had sex knowing that her daughter was raped at 12 years old. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? Does the mother know? Yeah. Because she said, I told you. Yeah. yeah she but goes, she might have said, told I, told, I told you... Uh, no, 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 you'll let's, see. Let's listen. Because okay. in the mom's eyes, ah, the rape thing might not be considered sex. Oh, boy. I've already told you the story of this. And don't look at me and smile because it's not funny. Oh, okay, um, I got raped when I was 12 years old. Right. <laughs> and is that, the, uh, is that the only experience that, you've had? I only found out about that. Um, a couple of months ago, yes, I knew about and that. And yet, you still ask me the question. I was. The I think question we, was, have you had sex other than that? I'm really sorry. We didn't actually know that that was the case, and I think we might actually <laughs> bought this this segment. I I had no idea that you've been through that, so I'm really sorry. And we'll just let you off the hook. I think. I think it's best not to continue. <laughs> she was very badly raped. You see. You can hear how depressed this. <laughs> the broadcaster is so depressed because she's like, oh, we're oh, so fucking fucked. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. He said, I can smell your cunt. What would management <laughs> say? <laughs> what we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. Do the best. <laughs> oh dear Lord, Jesus, this ain't happening. <laughs> I am proud to be a lesbian. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? Boozy, boozy, bop, city bop. You ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Is that the biggest fail ever? Oh, you. <laughs> okay. Like, um, like, um, I just... Oh my god. We look like assholes right now, man. <laughs> be more funny. <laughs> I love the smell of my. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be Giant Cock. This is going great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you have a sucker, guys, cock? <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is great iced tea. <laughs> you never know. Act like wherever you are, that's the place to be. Is that amazing? But how hilarious was the girl, though? Yeah. Her attitude was like, she, like you can see her looking at her mother like, like what? Yeah, do, remember what I said? Okay, all right, okay, okay yeah. all right. Fucking all, right. Go, all right, you want to go there? But how stupid is the mom? Like, oh, yeah, b besides the rape thing, I really need to know if you've, if well, you've had sex. This this psychopath would think if you take it in the ass and not the vagina, it's not sex. So I, would, I, could, <laughs> I can imagine that... If you if it's, if it was taken, she's like, "Have you willingly let a motherfucker fuck right. you?" Which is a fair. Maybe the girl is just dumb. She should have known that. Mm -hmm. 
I was right when I was 12. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. No. 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 So is that no. it? There's no f- oh, well, fallout? We got, well, we got a little more. And if, if Danny can find the story, I forgot. But I know the Prime Minister got involved. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you some details on what happened after uh, the last bit of audio here. But first, Larry King checking in. Larry. Yeah. So where did he put the groceries? <laughs> 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 Leave groceries. Longer. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do with the groceries? Oh, you know what? Very good, Mark. We missed uh, something in that audio. Mark in Connecticut. How about that broadcaster lady says that it's time to abort the segment? Yeah, yeah. Abort the segment. Maybe you shouldn't use the word abort. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then one, <laughs> and then they try to like, and now it's, we've been here before. Now it's, let's try to save our jobs in yes, two minutes. Yes, yes, yes. In two minutes. <laughs> it's like a rodeo. Let's see if we can stay on this fucking, uh, God beast. damn. Listen to them try to save their jobs. And actually, 49... Hama, hama, hama. 49 seconds of hamana hamana. I'm really sorry. I had no idea that that this had happened to you. I don't think we would have gone ahead with that if had we known. Okay, honey, we'll just let you go for a while. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't realize that was. Okay, mum. Sorry. Look, we needed to. We you know, that's something we should have probably known before we started this. Yeah, definitely. Um, so like, let's do that. Let's get you. If you guys haven't had any any counselling or any any one to talk to about that, we're happy to to uh, pick up the bill for that. We've got them here. Do you want that, Mum? Yes, think, that'll, be yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. Well, you know, and that might um, you know, that might going through that might answer some of the questions that you know you guys are having difficulty communi- communicating with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming in, Dale. Sorry about that. Thanks, honey. Okay, we're out, everyone. Um, Jackie's got some own news coming up. No, uh, you don't need any more news. Ah, uh, yes, you got some news. He's uh, like, you want some cancelling? We'll pick up the tab. <laughs> I, holy fuck. I'm all yeah. screwed, I. <laughs> Just offering everything. You, yeah. you want to live in my... I can't do the accent. Fuck. Scribe. You want to live in my house? What do you need? What do you need? You want to drive my car? I'll give you my car, please. All expense paid vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Where you want to go? Disneyland. Where? Hey. No, no. Please don't for us. I need this fucking job. <laughs> nay, nay. Love the nay. Nay. <laughs> I fucking. They, that guy was scrambling. Oh, man. What do you, what do you they, want? They please? offered everything in 49 seconds. Oh, what do you need? What do you now, need? here's what why I'm retarded. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Why, why are they in trouble? Yeah, why is that bad? Because. Uh, tell you the truth. They, they just. That popped out. I think. I think. Because radio like, guys are scum. Leave it to we're this, We're just though. scum. I mean, l- let's think we're, about we're this. We're supposed to know everything. We're supposed to have a crystal fucking ball, Patrice. If That's that why. happened on this show, there would have been some kind of extremely <coughs> inappropriate <coughs> remark right. or laughter or something after she said she was right at 12. Mm. There would well, have been, after we said, huh? Yeah, yeah. There would have been say? jokes now right. and, and bad things. They just clammed up completely, yeah. were quiet, and then the, the hole, the Aussie hole popped in with some, you know responsible fucking oh the talk. guy went silent for a minute yeah yeah they just they, she they had some like, responsibility uh, like oh i know uh, um anthony um there was something in the audio that you might not have heard oh yeah yeah if i could uh, replay that for everybody apparently they're back on the air now with a delay system that's what dr steve is telling me dr steve knows everything about radio so they, they, and medicine so what happened to them danny basically what do, what do you know about this uh well after that show they were removed from the air okay. that was uh back in august the beginning of august they did come back uh, after a two week a hiatus. Okay. Uh, and now they pre-record some portions of their show, and they uh, do have a delay in place. I guess they they were running just completely live previously. You know so God, now uh, God bless Australian radio. No one hears it, but God yeah, bless it well, anyway. Who the hell hears it? Because if that happens uh, to anybody here in America, fuck. I mean, everyone is fired. The dingo raked your baby. <laughs> That's like a, a format change if, oh, if it happens oh, hell here. Yeah. All right. So, and uh, then what did the prime minister say? Who raped her? Lord of the wasteland, humongous. Let's uh, talk to this humongous. <laughs> he seems like a reasonable man. <laughs> <laughs> just walk away from the show. Leave the oil and just walk away. That's why I got to start I watching more movies. Road Warrior. How do you I fucking know. access uh, quotes like that. from that That's, fucking shitty that. movie, man? That's fucked up, isn't it? It's Two days ago, I saw a guy that had raped that 12-year-old. That's Only Australia one you ever seen a movie with a... Uh, which one was it? Uh, shit. 
uh, oh, Layer Cake, when the guy, oh, the yeah, guy raised good. boys and he goes, that was a good movie. <laughs> he goes, fucking girls is for poof, poofters. <laughs> <laughs> poofters. <laughs> poofters. <laughs> Dog shit sniffer. I can't do the accent. Fuck. Woodside, he writes, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not even going to try. Sorry about that. Do we have something in the prize closet for yeah. you? <laughs> what do we got? Maybe a SNL box set? <laughs> <laughs> no. The best of Alec no. Baldwin. Best of Alec Baldwin. No, no, no. She was raped at 12. We've got to get something good. <laughs> Anthony, but it's bloody horrible. Listen closely. There's something else in this, uh, oh, in this audio you, you might have missed. Oh, let me hear. Is that, could that be it? Well, that's yeah. it, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's your next question, Mum? Okay, have you had sex? I've already told you the story of this. And don't look at me and smile because it's not funny. Oh, okay. Um, I got raped when I was 12 years old. Goodness gracious! <laughs> right. <laughs> and is that the uh, is that the only uh, experience that, you've had? I only found out about that um, a couple of months ago. Yes, I knew about and that. And yet you still ask me the question. I was. The I question we, was, have you had sex other than that? I'm really sorry. We didn't actually know I've that that was seen. the case, and I think we might actually bought this this segment. I Fancy I had no idea that you've been through that, so I'm course. really sorry. And we'll just let you off the hook. I think. I think it's best not to continue. Down goes Fraser. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So what if the mother had it just went... Other, okay. The mother is the stupid one in if, there. If, if she oh, had yeah. said... the fuck are you asking a sex question to a 14-year-old that was raped when she was 12? Yeah. Other than... How bad do you need to see the stupid uh, show? If she, yeah. well, she got in trouble if she had said, other than the rape, have you had sex? Right. Other than the rape. <laughs> oh, shit. Like if she had said that herself. I know. Oh wow, the uh, radio guy—he survived that one, but he—what? But then he got fired for something else. What, what do we got, uh, Danny? We're learning An more about this radio show. radio host was yanked off, or yanked off <laughs> the air uh, Wednesday for joking about weight loss at concentration camps. Less than a month after serving a <laughs> suspension for quizzing a teenage oh rape God. victim, Sydney's Today FM said shock jock Kyle Sandlin's uh, remarks. Uh, that the best way for comedy actress uh, Magda Zengabagade to lose weight was to go to a concentration camp were unacceptable. Um, let's see. Ba -ba -ba, we know that. You put it in a concentration camp. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What happened to him? Go down a little further. He apologized, of course. This jockey was sacked from his role as a judge on the television talent show Australian Idol over that incident. Today, FM just said, we not say when or if he will return to the airwaves. Oh, yeah, he did the I American guess Idol the, of Australia. Of Australia, and then he was <laughs> kicked off of it. I called the American Idol of Australia. Yeah, <laughs> and then he was kicked off of it after the lie detector thing. Yep. And now he did a concentration camp. I know. Oh, yeah. That's like Ryan Seacrest doing, like, concentration camp Concentration camp Why would you do uh, that? Anthony, can you do... I, <laughs> I wish I could do it. I would do it if I could. Can you do the Australian guy who says a concentration camp joke and then... It mentally catches himself going, I'm doing a, oh, fuck, I'm doing a concentration camp joke. I'm going to get fired. She's a li little overweight, eh? You know what she should do? Probably I end up going to one of those concentration camps. I lose a little weight there. No. I, <laughs> I, I, oh, good. Not that I'm saying that any of the Jews ever needed to be in a, a concentration camp or that they deserved it or anyone would deserve something as horrible as that because that's terrible. It never you should probably go on a diet. I never said it. It never happened. Race the tape. Please, I need this job. It never works when you try to explain I yourself. <laughs> it never nah. works out. Let's say hi to Jason Don't in Detroit. Don't me. Nah. J nah, nah. Jason has a very good question, Anthony. Jason? Morning, fellas. Good morning. Um, she was there to win tickets. Did she ever win them? Or did it just <laughs> Sounds like I a Larry King question. Right. What happened to the tickets? <laughs> Were there two empty seats at the show <laughs> that night? <laughs> VIPs. Oh, fucking brought her on stage, everybody. Oh, this damn. is the little 12 year old rape girl. <laughs> yeah, let's bring her up. <laughs> That's it. You're We're now gonna cover. Alone. We're now gonna cover a Nirvana song for her. <laughs> <Jesus. Whoa. laughs> what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> ding, da, da, ding, ding. What? Smells like Teen Spirit? Exactly. Yep. Probably yep. did. Uh, mm. that's it. Were you swabbed for DNA? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fucking, 
that. Holy shit, man. Oh, what now, Danny? It's just, what happened? It just now? makes me so upset when I see, you know, stories like this yeah. that are just misreported. Okay. Well, then say, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not like Sal. <laughs> oh, no, Ro. It just says here, last month, uh, Sandalands lost his judgeship on Australian Idol after getting a 14-year-old girl to admit on his show that she'd been raped when she was 12. Now, that's not the audio I just heard. No, that isn't no. getting her to admit. See, that would, that to me, if I just read that and didn't hear the audio, I would think that he was just grilling her about something and she was like, <laughs> yeah, okay, I was raped. The mother fucked that up. That oh, was the mother oh, putting oh, the goddamn jocks in a bad position. Oh, it sounds like he was going, oh, come on, you've been raped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on. Fess, yeah, really. up, fess up. That's why you're, we have you. Been raped. Come on, you look all yeah. raped up. You come on, raped. be honest. Why, the, the press Tamil actually be inaccurate? Let me see your hymen. Themselves. I bet you don't have a hymen. Let me see it. <laughs> Is your hymen intact? <laughs> I believe your hymen ain't even intact. Let me see it. I nay. It's busted. It's busted. Your fucking hymen's busted. I nay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember, man, we're not funny because, you know, we have to be more close. Uh, fuck him, mate. Fucking Hyman. Listen. You're fucking Hyman. <laughs> you ever have your little titty squeezed, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. You did the Australian, Let's go the to the Australian news. version of Hyman. Let's go to the news. Of <laughs> course, I think I'm in trouble. I shouldn't talk about Hyman. <laughs> Uh, Let me, uh, this thing is uh, busted. It's busted. <laughs> what open. <laughs> Fucking cri crikey. Crikey. It's probably a giant penis. <laughs> crikey. Cracked up in your hymen. Are you taking a piss, you little whore? Crikey. <laughs> right, Dave. <laughs> this is bollocks. Damn it. Right. <laughs> and, I'll bet you wagged school that day. <laughs> and from, uh, and uh, Pat from the oh, hockey. Oh, fuck. Just writes, sex for fosters. <laughs> yes. Sex for fosters, eh? <laughs> All right, you got to go to that big Sydney amphitheater and have sex over there for a Fulster's. Uh, Don't go to the church, yeah. eh? Oh, man. People want to know where Good Evening and Try the Wine come from. Oh, my God. Watch Clockwork Orange immediately and you'll get half this show. <laughs> Let's say hi to Larry King, Anthony. This oh, is a pleasure. Larry. Larry King. <laughs> Jesus, Larry. Oh, that's horrible. That's quite inappropriate. Come on, Larry. Let's go to Larry King on line five, Anthony. How he gets uh, between these phones. Larry. Yeah. Was that a Roo or Joey? Who raped you? It's making kangaroo jokes. <laughs> because there's only one animal in yeah. Australia, and that is the kangaroo. We all know that. Oh, this is, you know, a little, uh, little observation from Snake in New Orleans. Snakey. Yeah, boys, I'm wondering what kind of sick woman this mom is for smiling at the kid while she was asking the Yeah, question. she goes, don't smile, you know. Right. I'll tell you, oh, that was the like kid the that said that? Oh, yeah. was that the mother who so said the mother? That was the kid that said to the mother, like, don't smile, yeah. you know what the yeah. fuck the answer is. Right. What the? F right. And then she just went, all right, fuck it, here it comes. Yeah. I like so the kid is that. dumb then. No, the kid looked at the mother, and the mother started smiling, like, oh, oh well, you, you had sex, but not that rape thing. I think they're they want to talk dumb. about They're both dumb. They're like, both fucking Well, the kid's dumb. 14 and raped. I mean, you can't really blame her for anything. Well, look, that's not the... She's fucking... I mean, that doesn't have anything... That, you don't get your context raped out of you. Like, well, to, true. Underst okay. to understand how to get it. Yeah. She didn't want to fucking admit that she was raped on the ad, but both of them yeah. are dumb. Holy shit. They're fucking stupid. You ever, you ever take it in the bum? <laughs> did, did he give Amazing. it to you in the bum? Hey? Ah. Oh, we got an Australian Larry King. Oh, I uh, bet she was blowing bush oyster all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Anthony, this might be the bit today, because the Larry King thing... What a come to Gusta that was. <laughs> oh, my God. The Larry King might not be working, but we got the Australian Larry King on the phone. The guy thought it was a corker, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hyman. Corker. Right. Fucking corker. <laughs> hey, you cunt. <laughs> uh, Australian Larry King, check it out. Yes. How important is foreplay? <laughs> when you get raped, right, that is. Oh, fuck you. In the veg. In the veg. In the veg. Uh, in the veg. But you got to say it long. In, in the vagina. <laughs> vagina. Almost sounds like rejoiner. Vagina. 
That's where the hymen is. <laughs> the hymen. You want to check for a busted hymen, you look in the vagina. Oh, that's fucking awful. <laughs> God damn. Oh, we didn't fucking do it. Oh. <laughs> well, we didn't fucking yeah, do it. Fuck no. Them. Oh, of course. Stupid dick. It'd be great to be fired for a secondhand radio bit. Ain't that a bitch for commenting on that? <laughs> for commenting on a radio bit. Jesus. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God damn. I, I, that is a stunt that went horribly wrong. And Australian humor, uh, you know, coming in now. I don't even know what this means. We might have to look it up ourselves. Mm -hmm. Rob on Long Island. Rob. Rob. Yeah, in the Uzi sperm, I'm the only one when I'm at Outback and I have to take a piss. I have to stop for a minute and think, am I a bloke or a Sheila? I don't know. <laughs> Sheila, Sheila, Sheila. The way they say it, you can't even, like, say it. Let's say how to yeah. lie King. Oh, my he missus. Being the rot in the frickle. <laughs> yeah. I didn't use no franga neither. Or just banged her in a frickle. <laughs> Let's see. Gave me a load of ear bashing, too. <laughs> Wouldn't stop a fucking ear bashing while I busted up a frickle. Didn't use no franger, neither. <laughs> the frickle. <laughs> <laughs> that can be pretty funny. I've never heard it called that before. Fucking frickle. Oh, that's hilarious. Ah, love the smell of a good Aussie frickle. Um... Aust smells like a vagina. Australian ant. Uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore, if you could read that. Because, oh, shit, I don't have that uh, there. Can you see that right there? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did his penis taste like Vegemite? <laughs> <laughs> like a Vegemite, so a little... I oh, hear it's quite bitter. <laughs> Australian Larry King, check it out. Yes, uh, Larry. Larry? <laughs> Sydney, you're on the air. How important is the consent during sex? Like... Oh, wow. Aussie, wow. Aussie Larry King's not as yeah, funny. What happened? This because isn't we don't a want to ruin our Larry King bit yet. This isn't a subject that Larry can really comment on. Australian Larry King, check it in. It. I'm not giving up on Look, this. You really want to give him a try? This fucking bit has potential. Australian Larry King, yes. Crikey! When he gave it to you in the dunny, did you give him a reach around and tickle his bollocks, eh? <laughs> in the dunny. <laughs> the dunny. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, poor Dunny was all busted up. <laughs> I know. Let's go to the American Larry King. Uh, Larry. More importantly, did you have to blow the roadie to get backstage? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right. She was quite upset afterwards. I heard she had a liquid laugh. <laughs> or laugh? How would they say that? I, just, I don't know. Liquid think... laugh is puking, <laughs> which is kind of funny. That is good. They got some good uh -oh, fucking... Uh-oh, a lick. What? Illegal or under oh. underhanded racket. He did a lurk to a frickle, <laughs> <laughs> and then he pounded her vagina, busted her hymen. <laughs> I don't even know what this means. Larry uh, King checking in on line four, Aunt Larry. Yeah, does being raped give you a platypus? Uh, what is that? I don't know. A platypus. Did uh, he say a platypus? He sure did. Jesus. All right, with nah, that, why don't we go to break? Just imagine him pulling off a Grundy's. <laughs> he pulled off a Grundy's, and then he made sure he'd crack a fat. It looked like a mystery bag, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he popped it right in a freckle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> 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 Pat from oh She gave him a rusty didgeridoo. <laughs> didgeridoo. Uh, didgeridoo. You give her the old rusty didgeridoo, did you? <laughs> I. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> when you blew on a freckle, did it go? Sounds <laughs> 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 like a Foster's commercial, eh? <laughs> 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 oh shit. Uh, yeah, she was all in the nutty too. Totally in the nutty. It's as dry as a nun's nasty. Nest. Dry as a nun's nasty is dry. Ah, look. Let me blow into a freckle. Here we go. I know. <laughs> Blowing into a vagina. The sound's made by the hymen. You could, you could hear the hymen. It's vibrating because it's not busted yet. 
bro. Uh oh. <laughs> it might be a leak right water. there. <laughs> was, hey, a was, was, she, was she made by Aborigine? I know. <laughs> I don't like that. And there's rice mixing. But I didn't mean anything bad about it. If you want to be a rice mixer, feel free. What's rice mixing? I don't mixing? want to lose my job. I, yeah. I, nay. I got a meeting with the GM. I, nay. The virus. Serious XM.